In your Lesson 9 Concepts folder, you have a Citations Essay folder. If you double-click it, you will see two Word documents. You can open the sources, put it on your right monitor. It will look like this. Open the test essay for putting in citations. Put that on your left monitor. And this is an actual essay that was done for university. I've taken off the citations so that you can practice doing them yourself and also that you can practice putting in your Works Cited page, which looks like this, shown on the right. It is meant to be part of this research essay. It always goes at the end. So we're just going to practice uh, putting in some citations here. It's not difficult to do. You need to be on the References tab. The MOAC textbook is showing you MLA style. And that's the style that we will use. So make sure it's on there. That stands for Modern Languages Association. And all you're going to do is click Insertion. And I'm going to show you what to do after that. So we'll come down here. And what I asked you to do is just the single author citation. So just to make it easier, this page here uh, on the right, it's got two pages of uh, two pages of sources on it. Uh, and But we're just going to go through here and find, see Turnball is on page two, so I'm going to skip that one and I'm going to find, I'm going to go to the Canon because I know that Canon is on this first page. And so this statement here, the effects of abuse that occurred, will be talked about later in the, the essay, residential schools left impacts on nearly every Aboriginal person in Canada. Well, you can say that, but you always have to have sources that back up the fact that this is true. And so the source that she has is this journal article done by Canon MJ, an act to blah, blah, blah. So this is the journal that this information that she is asserting that left impact on every person, it is documented and in that article. So all you need to do is you need to select the red text, you need to make sure you're on MLA, you can insert the citation, and add the new source. And you may want to do this at the same time as I am, because I am going to type these out, and so you could do it alongside. Uh, so it is a journal article, but if it was a book or other things, you could choose from anything on this list. These are all journal, journal articles. And you need to put in the author. And you can see exactly how it is to be typed, Canon MJ. But let's say you had it in front of you. It's, it's not listed this way. So in order to put it in, you could use this edit box and put the information in. And I'm not going to add it, because you do that if you have more than one source. I'm just going to say OK. And it puts it into the proper format, which is the last name first. Then we're going to put in the title. Now the title, as I've shown on this page, is the first thing that comes after the author and the date. This will be the title. So go ahead and type that in at the same time as I am. Whoops. Oh. And I'm taking the time to type this whole thing out so that I have the hope of getting these to show how the hanging indent is put on these. Okay, we've got the title. The journal name is the text that's in italics over there. So this journal is the Canadian Review of Social Policy. This is the field for the year. You can type that in. And the pages that were pulled 
with that supporting information or pages 40 to 61. Now there is no, well actually here is the volume number, so we'll find that over here, volume, so it is volume 56. Now sometimes there's an issue number, but not, but not for this one. You can just scroll down to check. Any starred fields are the recommended fields, but we have all the information that we need, and we are going to click OK. So we have this Canon, and look, we have another Canon one right here. So for the second time that I put this in, I can place my cursor before the period and click the Insert Citation, and it's already done here. So I just click it, and it puts in brackets the necessary in-text citation that is required for MLA formatting. Now here's a raw citation, but there's a lot of authors, so let's just scroll down and do one more here. And let, there's another canon, but we'll skip that one. And the, here's a Martell citation. So we'll put that one in. So this one has a few authors, uh, but it's not two, but they all collaborated on the same article. So again, the cursor goes before the period. Insert it, add the new source, and then you just type in this information. Now it is typed in correctly in her essay there, so I am just going to use that. Okay, the title. We need the journal name that's shown in italics. And we have the pages, and actually the year, we'll put that in, is 2011. And then you put the page numbers, 235 to 255. We'll show all the fields, and we'll go down to the volume, and it's volume 51. And we will say OK, and all this information is getting put into a little source area that you don't see right now, um, and it's right here. And if I click Manage Sources, you will see there's the two sources that we just put in, uh, so that they are sitting inside a little database. Okay, so we just put Martell, and we'll just repeat it here. Just So it's always before the period, and Martell's already done, so we can do that. So I want you to do as many of those as it takes to start feeling like it's really easy to do. So do uh, all the, there's Casper, um, do that one, do all these single ones. At the end, what a uh, research paper needs, so I'll do a control N and go to the end, there's two things that aren't included in this essay, and that is the relevant header necessary for an MLA paper. So let's put that in. We can put it right here. We know how to do a quick header by double clicking in here. You'll note that there's a center tab and a right tab. So I'm going to press the tab key once, twice, and that is where I need to be. You will put in your last name, press the space bar, and then you need to put in the page number. When you click this command, don't put, don't use this. It will take your name out and replace it with this, just that number one. You need to go to current position and then use the plain number. 
and you can see it's put that in, but it's not uh, Times New Roman. So I'm going to change it to Times New Roman just to match it up as per MLA specifications. Now it tells you down here, make a works cited page on the next page. So I'm going to make a next page section break. I thought I did that. Next page continuous section break. And why it's not working, I do not know. Next page section break. Sorry, I was just being a moron. Okay, I'm here and I want to now get my sources that co that correlate to those citations. And the way that you do it is you go to the references and you come to this command, bibliography. For MLA, it's called works cited. Sometimes people say, what's the difference? The difference is that Chicago or uh, APA style uses references. Bibliography usually means that it's going to give a list of all books you read. But works cited is only going to list the books, not all the ones that you read. It's only if it was cited in the essay. So this is the one that you do for MLA. And you can see that it puts your citations in with the hanging indent and wraps them perfectly. But what you might notice is it's not, it doesn't put them in with Times New Roman. And the truth is that this is actually not supposed to be any kind of fancy thing. They put a style on it. I don't know if I can change it back to normal and change it to Times New Roman and back to the regular old font and the regular uh, color and then just center it myself. These all are actually supposed to also be double spaced, which Word doesn't quite do it the right way, but you can see it's not difficult to just change those. Now, notice that if we were to go in and put another one here, say we forgot it, like this one, uh, and I'm going to run out of time, so I'm going to do this really fast. If we were to go in and insert another citation and add a new one, and it is add, and I'm just going to do this fast, blah, 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 volume, blah, 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 and so on. I'll say OK. I'll leave the rest out. And you can see it's not in there, but if you click this and update, you can see it's been added. So it is sort of a living kind of uh, fields that you can update as you add to your essay and work on it. You can be adding your, you can even add sources that you don't want to forget about if you get information. If you, if even if you're not sure you're going to use them, you can add the citation and if or add the source. See, we can come into manage source and we can edit from here or we can put a new one in which will bring us to there and that way it stays in the records but when you do the work site it's only going to include any that are on currently being cited in our essay